Okay, so yesterday we did multiplying polynomials by a monomial, but today we're going to multiply polynomials by other polynomials. So instead of it being just one term times several terms, we're going to have something with, we'll start small, 2x plus 3, uh, something with two terms, that's a binomial times another binomial, x plus 5. Now what we need to remember, just like with the monomials, we're still using the distributive property, but this time we have to distribute both terms. Instead of just having one term by both of these, we have to do both terms by both of the other terms. A good way to keep this separated in your mind is to rewrite it. Instead of being 2x plus 3 times x plus 5, we'll write, make sure we do 2x distributed onto x plus 5 plus 3 times x plus 5. That way we know that we're multiplying each term in this by each term in this one. So now that we've got it rewritten and split up, we're going to do 2x times x, which is going to give us 2x squared, 2x times 5, which is going to give us 10x plus 3x, 3 times x, which will give us 3x, and 3 times 5, which will give us 15. Now that we've got it all written out, we'll check and see if we have any like terms that we can combine. And we do, right? 10x and 3x. So we'll actually have 2x squared plus 10x plus 3x is 13x plus 15. There are no more like terms, and it's in standard form, just like we've talked about, where it's the greatest degree to the least degree. So we're done. Nice and simple. Let's try, let's try it again with a slightly bigger polynomial instead of just a binomial. Okay, this time we're gonna do 3x minus five, of, well this one is a binomial, but we're gonna multiply this binomial times two x squared plus 7x minus 8. So we're going to do a binomial times a trinomial this time. It's even bigger. We're going to rewrite it the same way we did before, making sure that we multiply each one of these terms by each one of these. So I'm going to split up 3x and minus 5, get 3x times 2x squared plus 7x minus 8 minus five, minus 5, just like up here, times 2x squared plus 7x minus 8. So same thing I did before, we split it up. We want to make sure I multiply both of these terms by all of these terms. So I split these up, now I'm going to distribute it to everything inside the parentheses. So I'm going to go 3x times 2x squared, which is going to give us 6x to the third, plus 3x times 7x, which is going to give us 21x squared, 3x times minus 8, is going to give us negative 24x. Okay, now we're going to distribute that one. So we have minus 5 times 2x squared, so that's going to give us minus 10x squared. Now we still have minus 5 times 7x, so that's going to give us minus 35x. And I have minus 5 times negative 8, which is going to give us positive um, 40. Now we've got it all multiplied out. We're going to check for like terms. Those are going to be terms to the same degree, just like we've been doing this whole time. Looks like there are no other 
x to the thirds. I'm going to go ahead and write that one down. We do have 21x squared and 10x squared. So I'm going to go positive 21x squared and minus 10x squared is going to leave us with 11x squared because 21 minus 10. Then I've got minus 24x and minus 35x. Oh, no. Yeah, minus 24x and minus 35x. Now, negative 24 minus 35 is going to be negative 59x. So we've taken care of this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. What's left is the 40. Okay, now looking at this, there are no more like terms, and they're in order from the greatest degree to the least degree, so I'm done. This is as simplified as it can go. No matter how big the polynomials get, no matter how many terms you end up with, the key thing to remember is you've got to multiply each term in this one by each term in this one. That's why I split it up like this. I have the 3x and I have the minus 5, multiplying each one by all of the terms of the other polynomial. And then we just simplify like we've been doing this whole time. So they seem like they can get pretty complicated, but as long as you do it one step at a time, I believe that you can do it.